Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing a question from GATE 2020. According to the recent question paper released by GATE, it is question number 14 of the question paper. It is a question from partial differential equations and let's see how we will do this. So in the question it is given that there is a function k from r cross 0 to infinity to r such that the solution of the initial value problem, this is nothing but a heat equation with this given condition on this domain is given by this for all bounded continuous functions f. Then we are asked to find the value of this. This is nothing but the integration from minus infinity to infinity of kxt with respect to x. So for doing this question, you should first know that how we should solve this equation with this initial condition on this domain. So first we will see that formula and then we will be able to solve this. So if you have an equation ut small k uxx with the condition ux comma 0 equals to fx and your domain is r and t is greater than 0. So this is nothing but a heat equation on an infinite domain. So if you want to solve this equation then you can do it by directly this formula then the solution is uxt 1 upon 4 pi kt this k is this one 4 pi kt integration from minus infinity to infinity e raised to power minus x minus y whole square upon 4 kt in multiplication with fy and the integration is with respect to dy. So here this function was fx. So here you have the same function. What you have done is just replace the variable x by y. So if you want to solve this equation, then you can directly solve it by using this formula. We are not going into the, de into the derivation of this. We are just directly using the formula. Now, so you know that the solution for this equation is this. Now here it is given that, see this problem and this problem, they are entirely same. Only one thing is different Then here your k is arbitrary. But here the specific value of k is given and it is nothing but 1. So you know from the given equation, the k is 1. So directly you can reduce this formula. You can just put k equals to 1 here and the formula will be reduced according to the given equation. Now see what else is given. It is given that the solution is this. Now notice one thing. Compare this formula with this one. You can directly notice that capital K x minus y comma t is nothing but this into this, right? Just simply leave function and just put everything equals to this. So your capital K is nothing but 1 upon under root 4 pi k t into exponential x minus y whole square upon 4 k t. And since I told you that small k is nothing but 1, so your k x minus y t is 1 upon under root 4 pi t e raised to power minus x minus y whole square upon 4 t. So clearly now we know that what this function is. Now what we have to do is we have to find the value of this integration. Here we have k of x minus y comma t. Here we want k of x t. So what do you have to do? Just simply put x minus y x. So your k x t will be 1 upon under root 4 pi t. Just put x minus y equals to x. You are just replacing the variables. Minus x whole square by 4 t. Right. So now I have the function k x t. All I have to do is integrate this function from minus infinity to infinity and I'll get my answer. So let's integrate this function now. So now we have to integrate this function. So minus infinity to infinity kxt with respect to x will be equal to. See, since this is not dependent on x, I can keep it outside of the integration sign. I'll get 1 upon under root 4 pi t 
integration from minus infinity to infinity is to power minus x square by 40 and I have to integrate it with respect to x. Now, we will do a small substitution here. Let x upon under root 4t equals to some other variable. Say I am letting it equals to, uh, let us not take u, let us take small p. Fine. Now, it will become dx upon under root 4t equals to dp. That means dx is nothing but under root 4t into dp. And as you can clearly see, the limits are from minus infinity to infinity. So, using this substitution, the limits will not alter. They will remain the same. Now, this integration becomes 1 upon under root 4 pi t minus infinity to infinity. I let this x upon under root 4t equals to 4 p. So, this will become minus p square. So, this becomes e raised to power minus p square. And in place of dx, I will write under root 4t into dp. 4t dp. So, here these two will cancel out each other. Only remaining will be under root pi. So, I get this e raised to power minus p square dp. This is a very famous integral and the value of this integral is under root pi. So, I get 1 upon under root pi into under root pi. They will cancel out each other and the answer will be 1. So, the integration of kxt on r with respect to x is nothing but 1. So, this was the question and the answer is 1. Thank you. Thank you.